It has evolved from taking 24 seconds to snap the ball to taking, you know, three seconds after they put the ball in play to snap it. It has become flag football. Now what a spread offense does is limit you in your defensive calls. So now you're not the aggressor, the other side is the aggressor because they control the ball. First time I ever saw it and tried to defend it, uh, Rush and then brought it in over at Hoover. And they were fast paced, but when you break it all down, it's just football plays. If they have a pace, usually about eight to 10 seconds, and you're getting all this kind of different stuff. What you've got here is a trips formation. I can about promise you they're gonna put the ball down, 1,001, it's not even two seconds, they snap the ball and they go back to the same play they run on the second play of the series, which was the hitch to the opposite side of the field. So while it seems genius on the offense's part, it's a family of four plays that they've run all the way down the field so far. And you're one missed tackle away, look at here, oh my goodness, from a touchdown. God, it's almost like I saw that. <laughs> What we look at is this, and Coach Saban does this. He, he's a very situational guy. So if you bring a package in, he's gonna bring a complimentary package in to defend it. But you have to bunch up these families together. So while they may look like they ran 75 different plays, they're all in the same family. They ran six plays and all of them were in the same family. So once you know that, until they change formations, they're in the family. The, the key thing is you got to have a quarterback guy. Whoever's a quarterback guy, you can't mess up. If you mess up, then he might can pull it and run it for a while. Playing Texas A&M, it was critical for them to handle Ole Miss. I think it'll be just a blowout, to be honest with you. Now that they played that pace in a real game, that this pace will be the same or less and I think they'll match everything up just fine. I mean, it, you know, he's the best defensive coach probably ever lived, so I'm sure he can figure it out. It's fun, watching Oregon's fun. All the gurus love to do that. Well, at the end of the day, and I think Coach Saban will probably tell you this too, it comes down to old school ideas. Fundamentally being in the right place and then fundamentally making a play is really what we see it comes down to.